Hello everybody and welcome to another Django with Python for Web Development Tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be continuing to work on our blog. If we go to our homepage we find that uh, everything works. We click on blog, that works. We click on a blog, that does not work. And that's not really in line with the fact that we want a pony. So how do we make our blog return the specific blog that we've clicked on? Well, what we're going to first do is we know that, okay, the first problem is um, using the first, you know, my site URLs, we did go to blog, but this does not correspond with this, right? This is start and end. So what we need to do is we need to handle for a slash and then a number. So what we're going to do first is move this stuff aside, go into blog, edit the urls.py and add another URL. So this is gonna be kind of difficult. I'm pretty sure what we do, comma, good. <laughs> and now we define a new URL. This URL is gonna look a little scary at first, but I promise it's gonna all come together. So first we're gonna write it, then we'll explain it. Actually, we might explain it as we go. We'll see. Anyway, um, what we're gonna do first is URL. The URL is gonna be this expression. It's gonna start, not too bad, um, and then it's gonna have some parentheses. Parentheses say, hey, we're capturing this, everything here inside these parentheses. Question mark P, capital P there. This is a named capturing group. If you, uh, let's pull up the Django here. Uh, you can come over here and uh, read more about named groups. This link will be in the description. Uh, as far as capturing that group, but that basically what we're doing there, uh, the reason why we want to be able to do that is because we're going to grab specifically by each post uh, ID, and then also we're, we're grabbing right in between these parentheses, the very specific, uh, you'll understand here in a moment. Let me move this up. Just to understand the question mark P corresponds to named groups. The next thing is in these brackets, we put P K. This PK stands for primary key. And as you've seen already, the primary key is that ID column. So that's the first column in our table, basically. And every post gets a unique primary key. This is like, starts at zero, it's auto incrementing. So it's like zero, one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to however many posts you have. So that primary key, quite specifically, is this right here, right? We're trying to get to the, pri the the blog information that is of the primary key of one. So primary key there. And then that primary key is a backslash D, which corresponds to being a digit in uh, regular expressions. And then we use a plus. Now, if you're not familiar with regular expressions, like I said before, you can go to pythonprogramming.net. Let me just pull one up real quick and we'll research what that uh, regular expressions with Python. We can come on down to here and we see a plus is matches one or more. So when we have a slash D plus, that means it's a digit and it's either one or more digits. Okay. So one to a billion will be acceptable here and, and beyond a billion, of course. Okay. So, um, then that's what we're capturing here basically, and then end. So basically what this is saying here is the URL begins. And, and of course that's beginning after slash blog, right? Because the whole, what's happening here is slash blog leads us to this URLs.py. And then from here is what we define. So slash blog and then theory slash, and then you've got this information here and then it ends. Well, this information here, as long as it is, is just saying, hey, the primary key, which happens to be a digit. You don't actually have to have digit there, but you wanna do that because you you know the primary key is supposed to be a digit. And if a user's trying to get some lulls, they might try to do hacky things on your website. And one of those things might be, instead of having a primary key, maybe put a string, maybe put an SQL query in there just to see, because what's happening is it's gonna query the database for that primary key. So then the, you know, a uh, wannabe hacker might say like, oh, hmm, uh, the primary key is, mm, I don't know, a 
quotation, a closing, and a drop table, <laughs> right? Or something, you know. So they might try to, you know, play play games. So uh, so we're gonna say that this has to be a digit, otherwise don't return anything. And not that that would have worked. Just saying, Django is a little smarter than that. Uh, but just keep that in mind. So now, comma, and then instead of list view, this is a detail view. So detail view and dot as underscore view. And then the model we're going to have for this detail view is post, which is that post class from the models. And then template underscore name is going to be equal to blog slash post dot HTML. So the model already exists. We created that long ago in a previous decade. And then the template name, obviously this doesn't exist. We need to create that. So that's what we're going to do now. So let's go ahead and save this, exit the urls.py, and come into templates, blog, and now just copy blog. And then I'm going to rename it to be post.html. And oops, <laughs> I knew. I told you. I warned you about that initially. On probably your other operating systems, you might not be as likely to do that. But on Windows, I do that all the time. Edit with Notepad. Uh, no. And close this. And zoom in. Zoom in, please. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, this will indeed extend personal header. It's going to have block content. Um, and that's where it stops. <laughs> so we'll do this. And so this is the individual blog page. So how do we want that individual blog page to look? You can obviously do a whole lot of things. We're going to say the title will be in header three tags. And uh, to do that, um, you could put a link to the title, but that's kind of redundant. So I would probably just say literally post.title here. Um, and then you would obviously break here. And then maybe below the post, you would say, like, when was it published? So header six tags. And then in here, um, actually, before the variables, you would say on space and then post.date. So that was the date it was posted. And then from there, we would have, like, the body. So we'll put the body. Um, let's do a variable there. And then what we can say here is post.body. We're saying all these posts, these the posts that are coming from us, right? This is coming from our, our admin page. Okay, so if our admin page is compromised, we got props. So we're going to say uh, filter safe. So this is like a safe. Uh, basically, what this does is it allows us uh, to put HTML into the Jinja. So if you didn't have this and you said uh, in your post was um, had paragraph tags and, and strong to make things bold and stuff like that, if you didn't put slash safe, it would come through as plain text tags. Um, if that doesn't make any sense to you, uh, if I remember to show you, I'll show you what I, what, what, what I mean there. Um, and then again, we'll do another bar and line breaks. So every time there's a line break, there will be a line break. Okay, that's your post body, no problem. Um, and that should be everything we need, really. Uh, let's just tab this over. Save. And we should be ready to rumble. Let's come over here. Everything looks good there. Let's bring up our uh, website here. Yeah, refresh. And here's our blog. So Ermager Django is awesome. Everything's there. So we click on blog, click another one. Hello world, hiya, blog, amazing, and so on. <laughs> amazing. Okay, so so now let us head to whoops head to our admin page whoops admin and let's add a new blog and hey there and then we'll say uh, let's put something in header one tags so giant text okay and we'll say today now and um, we'll save that and uh, so it exists we can click on it read it cool. Uh, but mainly what we want to look at is go back here, click blog, this one, and it says, you know, hey there, giant text. What happens if we did not say this text was uh, safe? We do this. Save that. Come over here, refresh, and you get the plain text values, right? These are, you know, and if you view the source, you'll see that they were changed here. So let's go here, and you'll see that, yeah, you get these little the converter, basically. That's So it's not the actual tag. So... 
Um, so that's what safe does. There are a lot of other filters and stuff like that with Jinja. Uh, we can cover those at a later later tutorial, but just know that that's what you can do. And so so now when you go to post your blog, not only can you use like header tags, you can do like image tags, you can do scripts, you can do all kinds of stuff. And because you can do things like scripts, that's why if say you've got a forum and you're allowing users to post, you probably don't want to say that that text is safe because <laughs> they're going to be putting all kinds of stuff in there. So. Um, so that's kind of why, by default, Django is not going to treat that as raw HTML. They're going to do converts and escape things and stuff like that in your favor. But since it's coming from the admin page, right, your posts are all coming from admin, uh, we're going to go ahead and say, yeah, that's some safe information. <laughs> okay. So at this point, uh, you now have your home page or your, your, you know, really your about me page. You can put some information here. You got a contact information and you've got even a blog that you can add things to. Of course, your blog is not pretty. It's not the best looking blog in the world. So I highly suggest you would spice this up a little bit. And your really your whole personal website is not very attractive yet. Um, also, the links down here obviously don't really work. They just lead to nothing, but you could populate those. Um, so I suggest you spend some time on bootstrap, especially if you do end up, you know, pushing this live and all that. So, uh, if you have questions, comments, concerns, whatever, up until this point, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions and until next time.